Referee Green wants to know that Seattle is ready to go. Looks to find Captain Mike Petri. And we have Cajal Marsh, the Irish born fly half, to get us going. And our game is underway here. Short kickoff batted back into the hands of John Quill, who was moved into the number eight position for this team. Ross Deacon out with injury, and Mike Petrie quickly gets the ball out there into O'Keefe's hands. O'Keefe having a great season as the outside center with this Rugby United team, and they have a set of forwards coming in here as the ball gets moved to Brakely. Ball recycled again, trying to get quick ball, but an early penalty according to from Sigatoka Fiji. Puts his considerable size in there. Sima looking for a runner coming across. They try a little tricky move back to one of their wings, but well covered by the New York defense. Nakatini, 6'5", 257 pounds. It takes a lot to bring him down. They do eventually. J.P. Smith driven back. An offside penalty, an advantage against New York. Sears Duru, the Canadian international, moves the ball across and gets it back. Still under penalty advantage here. Free play for Seattle if they want it. Nakatini's looking for a runner, but takes it himself. Smith moves it across. Just grasping there for a tackle and not getting it is New York. And that ball is touched down by Matt Turner. Another South African on this team. Scores the first five points of this game for Seattle after extended pressure by New York. Great opportunity. Time this lineup, but it's up and down. They put it off the back there, and there on the run is Seattle. Seattle moves the ball as a starter in the midfield. They've got some big runners coming around. Sema goes around the back, gets the ball into Turner's hands once again. Now it's in Staller. Brock Staller working his way. Has to take it to ground, and they've got a couple of big runners coming just outside of him. As JP Smith winds up with the ball, puts a little offload in there to Staller. Staller driven to the ground that time. Hands off, and one of the New York centers. Get it, get it but still in possession is Seattle. Sears Duru. Ball moved out to Sonny Ewell in the center and slicing right through there is Seattle. Stretching for the line and finding it is a Seattle player. We'll have to see from here. What an outstretched arm from Rickert Hatting, the number eight. And no more ports on, sorry, more points on the board for Seattle early in this game. Yep. We're going to put it back to Seema. Seema's going to play the territory game this time. Connor Wallace Sims. Move the ball to Ben Foden. Ben Foden with that educated boot right right launches right one downfield. A couple of Seawolves there to take it, and it's Seema. Move that cross field quickly. And they've got a break again. How did they find that space? And he is away, headed towards the line. It is Matt Turner. Matt Turner is going to go in for his second, the team's third. And Seattle making early statements in this Major League Rugby contest. Yeah, it's all gone a bit pear-shaped now for New York. They need to get in behind the post right here and have a little stern chat with each other. Here's the replay. It was a kick up the center of the field from Foden. Uh, not, not that great a kick. It was moved wide to the right, Matt Turner. And he has got, as we said, pace to burn. Great arcing run, showed his speed and under the posts. With the danger of loose kicks, you know, kicks, it's, it's not just the kick necessarily, it's also the kick chase. Is there anyone up underneath it? Can test has had his on. chat and asked Shalom right, right Saniola to speak to the team. And off they go quickly is New York, and they're looking forward to catch everybody by surprise here. They need this five points, but they're right there, and they've got it. New York scores a five-pointer, brings himself back in with You can see the elation on the players' faces and body language as they're running in there. Well done. Well done, New York. Yet to see it. And you look at big Patty Ryan. He just picks the ball up and barrels towards the line. It looks like he made it over. Ball's in there, but it's touchdown eventually. Yeah, well, Scott Green, Green had a better view of it than we did, so <laughs> we'll take his word for it. His arm went up. Five points for that. Cahill Marsh to convert. Relatively straightforward. And New York are back in this game. 21-7. They needed that. They needed that goal. Yes, that was. From 
comes straight in front of the post. He puts it up. Assistant referees are happy. 24 to 7. Just over a minute to go in this first half. This league as the ball gets put up there. It looks like Tucker took that one. And makes some good ground here at the 40 meter of New York. A little pass out the back, and they're looking for some runners, but Ro uh, Shalom Saniula finds space. He's a great runner, but he offloads it, and they are going to score another try here. No problem. Try awarded. That's J.P. Smith. J.P. Smith, the scrum half, slots it in. Again, Kahal Marsh gets a run there, looks for O'Keefe. O'Keefe can't quite hit it at pace. And move it again, the ball is in. McNulty's hands, McNulty on loan from the New England Free Jacks, a team that'll be joining Major League Rugby next year. Trevor Cassidy, that's the first time I've said Cassidy's name today, he's a very hard worker, giving a penalty Oh, advantage. that's a great kick, that's a great a kick. Crossfield kick, corner. gets up there and try is going to be awarded, looks like Will Leonard, can't wait to take another look at that one. Kahal Marsh on the penalty advantage, just spots it, and well, well done there. A Marsh to Leonard. They are pushing their way back in this game at 31 to 12. Yeah, great play from Marsh there. He spotted it early. Uh, man wide on the wing, Leonard picked him off with a really, really accurate kick. It's just what you don't need at this stage in the game. They're inside the 22 with a head of steam. Dylan Fawcett just slips through. Nakatini's big tackle there. Marsh runs at the line again and gets to Houston. Houston. Always available and willing to carry. Marsh taking it again. Do they have the runners out here? They go around the back. It's Connor Wallace Sims. Connor Wallace Sims touches down on the try in that far corner. And are the tables turning in this exciting game? Yeah, that, that was a spectacular try by New York. Multiple possessions. He changed the point of attack. He went right, he went left, short. Ultimately, they went right to Connor Wallace Sims on the right hand side. He gets over in the corner. We have a game in our hands. The margin. Seema looking a little wide there. Seema and Sonny Eula comes back through. No problem. Try score. Just another great line run out there as soon as they got to move that ball wide. And that looked like the replacement, Phil Mack. They, they, they've got to keep working here. If they, even if the game's beyond them at 17 points, place. they need a score for a losing bonus point for tries. They need to get the game as close Whoa. as possible. Okay, we're good. Fawcett at the back again. They're going to need to not waste a lot of time here and get that over. Those bodies are moving. They seem to be on their way to the line. Can he get there? Fawcett staring at that white line, and he gets over. Go Try on. awarded. Dylan Fawcett dots it down for rugby. Not really uh, any seeming plan to this New York side right now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they need penetration. <laughs> so Marsh yeah, is going wide to the right yeah. for Hume. Let's see if Hume can make his magic work. Hume lets his hands get onto one person there, pops it up to Dylan Fawcett. Dylan Fawcett for the try line. Yep. And it just as it looked like nothing was happening for this New York team, they proved me wrong. A cross kick. Luke Hume shows his worth, pops it up to Dylan Fawcett. When that, when that man's on the field, anything can happen. Sure enough, he, he collected the kick, just stayed alive long enough, and a terrific support run from Callum McIntosh's hands. They're starting to move a little bit here. Walsh again goes to the boot. Interesting choices at this point as Leonard kicks one through, and that ball is just bouncing down outside the try zone there. Let's see what happens. It comes into Kahal Marsh's hands. Kahal Marsh is at the try line. Can he get there? He has to shift it back in. It's Walsh. Walsh gets it to McDonald. McDonald gets it back into his players. What great skill that was to keep this ball alive. In New York, is this their last gas? We've got a minute on the clock. Rochford gets it, but he can't go anywhere with it. This is a test for this New York team, as well as the defense of Seattle. What better a finish could you hope for right now? As that ball was knocked down by New York, and that maybe lights out. We'll see what. Backward, boys. Keep it up. Keep it up. Goes in and balls come back to Hatting. Ben Sima kicks it in the touch. Yeah, on. Referee says it's full time, and that's our game. Seattle Seawolves take a 38-31 win over Rugby United New York.